Hello everybody from the south of France. I should probably take my glasses off because it's rude. If you can see red, it's my eczema. But anyway, that's not important. What's important is I am filming a video from our south of France house for the first time. I honestly can't believe it. I can't believe we're here. The camera is wonky, but I don't care. It's about nine o'clock at night. It's still glorious. I've hung all of my linen bed sheets here, which you I'll share on my Instagram, you can see it there. Um, I just shot this dress, the most beautiful high street dress. Isn't it amazing? Um, and because it's nine o'clock, we haven't eaten, I thought it's now or never to get this video done because we've been here a week and I've been so relaxed, I didn't want to film. So, I'm just going to stand here and explain the video of how this will come around. So just to get straight into it, all my life I've wanted a summer house and I always used to think south of France but I was open to other places. If you've been following me for a long time, you will know that years ago, like I'm talking 2015 and from, we were viewing houses mostly in California. We literally went from Beverly Hills to Calabasas and everything in between and it took us about a month solid of looking, two years running. I don't know why but it never worked out for us, it just was never meant to be. I was considering other places, I was considering buying something like bigger in Chelsea, I was considering going to Paris, so if you follow me on Claire Chanel Home you'll see that I went up, like showed a few apartments, it's because we were looking there and every time nothing would grab me like in my soul at all they wouldn't work out. So the last on my list, ironically, was South of France. So a lot of you might think that we've already got a house and I have always been very clear. I just don't talk about it too much. I never show it because it's not our house. Um, Paris's parents have a beautiful house in the South of France. I've even got my handbag and everything here. Um, on the beach. We go there all the time. We absolutely love it. We go all the time throughout the year, mainly like summertime. Um, and because we have that house, it was always last on my list to have South of France, but then it just started making sense. No, South of France, that like we've got our own family now. We want to spend more time there. We want something bigger. And we started looking and everything went in our favor from the beginning. I said to Paris, can we go look at houses? And he was like, no, I'm on, on the beach. I don't want to, I'm on holiday. And I thought, I'm not gonna find anyone. No one speaks French. I'm trying to, yeah, I don't want this to be too long. Um, so I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna look myself and hopefully I'll find someone that speaks English. Found this house. I might put up a picture. I just feel a bit when it's not my house. Found this agent, loved her, found this house stunning. It was kind of like Californian slash province vibes. Beaut the most beautiful house at the back. Not so pretty at the front. And I would say it had a large front and back garden, the same as what we have now. Like a nice plot of land, very spacious garden, but it wasn't lots of land like I wanted. And although I loved it, and I could have easily had that summer house, easily, happily ha been there and loved it. I, it just wasn't the one. And at this point I was like 20% ready to buy a house in south of france it was in my five year plan i thought maybe in three years time let's just scope out what we can get what we can afford what we like and then she said to me what do you want and i absolutely love french estate agents because they were like no i won't buy this no this has this yeah this is like like i wouldn't i just would avoid this house this it, it saves so much time so anyway she said to me what do you want claire and i said I went on for about five minutes. I said, well, I want like a province house. I didn't want a chateau. I wanted like a province house. And I said, I wanted it with so much land. That it was so private that you can walk around naked. No one's going to see you. I could host a wedding for my future children, but I also don't want it inland province. I want it near a town. I want, I want a town. I want it near Saint-Tropez, near Cannes, all of these places. I want to be able to drive to Monaco like day, in the day and come back. And she was looking at me like, right. And I said, yeah, I know, all of these are around six million pounds. So I'm not quite there yet. And then she said to me, I might have something for you actually. And she shows me this house. And I was like, mm, I didn't love it. And I said, okay, let's go see it tomorrow. So at this point I'm viewing a house that I, I didn't even really like on the, on the, like the Prospice and um, the catalog, the, whatever, the advert and it was more of a day out, I'll be honest with you. And then we're driving through this town. We came from Saint-Tropez and, and I thought, wow, this is actually really close to Saint-Tropez. 
um, we went through this beautiful town and we were both like, this is an amazing, beautiful town. Then we come down this driveway and I hadn't even got down the driveway and we just entered this land and we both were like, wow. So do you know what? Before I go any further, I'm going to show you the little reel, the little video. I'm gonna put one on Instagram as well, so make sure you follow me on Claire Chanel, on Claire Chanel Home. But let me just show you what I'm talking about, where I'm standing, so that you can visualize more when I'm talking to you. So, enjoy. Look at me, find your way without you. I can see that you're doing pretty well too. I guess we're good at pretending. Can't you see? Isn't it magical? Isn't it absolute paradise? I should have shown you that right at the beginning. Um, so as you can imagine, coming down that drive, I never thought I could get that long driveway for my budget in this location. One of my dream top top things that I wanted in a house, a dream house, whether it be here or in England, was to have one day have a really long driveway that's so long that you can't even see the house as you enter. And it had the cypress trees and for me, the driveway. You then come round and here's like a mini car park. I call it the car park, it's actually quite big. It's like a driveway. We get out of the car and we see this huge field of olive trees. Paris's mum's Cypriot. And she's obsessed with olive trees and Paris is as well. So for him, he said, wow, this is, this, I would never think beyond my widest dreams I could have a house with this many olive trees. There must be like over 50 on the property, well over 50 to be honest. And we were like, wow, wow. We hadn't even seen the house. You then walk down here. I'm on, I can see a peak of the house. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is just, what? And then I see on the left an archway of flowers. At the time it was all blooming flowers with like jasmine and lilac hydrangeas. And there's a pool. I was already sold. Then we get to the house and we're like, wow. It actually looks a bit smaller from the outside. It's actually spacious inside. So we go in and we're like, wow, this is actually beautiful. Then we go to the back of the house and there's land. It's in 360, like 360 surrounded by land. There's a guest house then we didn't want to leave. There's a tree here that Paris reversed into and he said, right, it's ours, got to buy it now. The next day, I put in an offer. Now this is where it gets crazy. So I'm gonna be here for another 10 minutes. So I put in an offer. It was a lot low below, below the asking price and they came back to my surprise and they, to my, to my surprise, surprise moment, and they said, the owners are thinking about it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, this, this house is ours. I don't care what happens. I know this house is ours. I feel so strongly about it. And what I'm really sad about is that that day when we viewed, we normally always, we always took Shaluli out with us, always. But because Bambi's so anxious being out, we stopped taking Shaluli out as well. And normally I would have bought her at least, or you know, we don't like leaving the other one. So I'm so sad that she didn't come to the viewing and didn't get to see this house, but more about that later. So then, so much to tell you. So then they said, they're gonna let you know on Friday, yes or no. Now I know that they actually were gonna say yes because they're very old, they're like nearly 90, they're an Italian couple, the most amazing, kind couple ever. But it was still, it wasn't too low below the asking price, you know, it was probably a little bit like lower than what you normally would, but, it was why they were willing to take so much below the asking price. So I was so surprised. And then they, on the Friday, they said, this couple from England have come out of nowhere that viewed it six months ago. They want it, they're, they're paying their deposit. I, so I was so disappointed, but I also still felt it was my house. So this is like the power of thinking, the power of like manifestation and believing it's going to happen because even Paris was worried at one point saying, why do you think this house is yours? They're, they're paying the deposit. And I was like, no, it's ours. I can feel it's ours. And you know when you know a house is for you, I did this in our English house. When you're in the kitchen, there's a patio door and you can see the pool. And I had a vision of calling in lots of children, whether it be mine or niece and nephews. And I was calling them in for lunch and it was so real. 
<clears throat> that's when I knew it was ours. So I remember telling Shaluli all about the house. We always used to say, we're gonna buy you a, like we always say to her, we're gonna buy you a South of France house. It's her favorite place in the world. She would sit like this in the sun. She just loved it here. And I used to always say, you're gonna retire in South of France, my Shaluli. Um, and I was telling all her about this house. So we lost it to these people. Then I'm just skipping over because I still can't talk about it. Then we, like, I literally could cry now, but then we lost our Shaluli girl and um, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. It was a week before and I messaged um, the agent and I said, look, I still am serious about buying in the south of France. Do you have anything, anything at all similar? I almost know I'm not going to get something as that perfect for us, but do you have anything? She said, no, I don't. There's nothing. Then in the afternoon, she messaged me saying, Claire, this is really weird, but I've had a phone call from the owners and I have a gut feeling that they're going to pull out. And I said, but they've already paid the deposit. She said, yes, I know, they've paid the deposit, but in France, you can get your deposit back in full. And I was like, wow. So I was getting all excited. Then she called me back and she said, right, the deposit has gone through. They've, they're negotiating something. Just forget this house, move on. I'll keep you updated if I find anything else. So that, she was like, now in the coffin, it's done. Please move on, I'll try and find you something else. Then the house prices started creeping up, creeping up. Then everything happened with Shaluli and Shaluli passed away. Now this is the crazy thing that happened. So it was the day after she passed and I'm in the kitchen. Some of you are gonna think I'm crazy, but this is what happened. I was in the kitchen and I got this sense that she was on the floor. So I looked down, you know, as you do with your dogs and your pets. So I looked down and I thought, oh, she's gone. Like, the stupid Claire. But it was so, it felt so real. And then I got this like shudder and I, and I thought, don't ignore that, Claire, because that was a really strong feeling that I felt. Don't ignore that. Like, maybe she's just, you know, when people have, like, passed into the other side, like, maybe I'm going to see a beautiful bird or butterfly in the garden. So I go look at my garden. I'm standing there for about five minutes to look for a butterfly that was her before she goes. Nothing. And I thought, oh, Claire, you stupid. Like, of course, like, well, like, like, what are you thinking? So I go back in the lounge so upset like near to tears missing her didn't care about the house even though I cared so much about it before I, all, all I could think of was her and I get a text on my phone saying Claire like why are you not answering like are you still interested so I opened the phone and she'd called me five minutes before five ten minutes before exactly when I had that shudder saying they've pulled out the house is yours if you want it same asking price or like of what they were paying and I believe, I truly, truly believe in my heart that that was her. I feel like she knew that I wanted this house. We all wanted this house. And I feel like it was her way of saying thank you. So I know that you're expecting a house tour and I'm now talking about my dog that's passed away. But this is why this house is so special to us. Like lots of reasons. But, and I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but it was just too weird how it all happened. Like how this house is one in a million. It's so unusual and the location like these kind of houses don't come up often and it was the first one we looked at like on the same day as the other one but like literally the first agent first house on the same day um someone bought it then we then we got it back and lots of things kept happening like lots of things kept happening that it was going to fall through and each time we would think, God, we're never gonna pull this off. And then each time it would come through and the agent was like, wow, this is, I've never had a property sale like this ever before. Like you really deserve this house. Everything's gone against you and you managed to pull through, but we weren't really doing much. It was just like things were happening bad, then it would happen good. It was like everything was happening around us. We, we, we were just waiting. So the house finally went through. I came back here with my mom. It wasn't quite gone through yet come back with my mom she was like had tears in her eyes saying this is a paradise there was a white butterfly and I thought okay it's a beautiful place with flowers there's going to be butterflies but it was just following us around and then we got the keys a few days ago we came here there's a white butterfly every morning I wake up it's just there and it follows us around when we go to the pool it goes to the pool I don't know if it's just a beautiful white butterfly I leave the rest of your thinking you're all going to think I'm nuts at this point 
Um, so that's the story condensed because I'm see we're already at 15 minutes. That is the story condensed of, of how, like, how this was a dream. For those of you that don't know, my husband is French. He feels his home is in the south of France because he spent his, most of his time in the south of France growing up. Um, and it's just a dream come true for us and it's a holiday home. We're not moving here permanently. But the beauty of our jobs are that we can come whenever we want within reason of honoré and like commitments at home. But we will be here a lot. We'll be having all our family here. It's got a studio. Um, so I think what we're going to show you is just the outside of you, as you've already seen. Now Paris is not sure he wants to share the house because we don't share the outside of our house in England. And I was thinking for this because it's so, you know, you can't see it from the street. It would be safe to share it. So I did promise that I was going to show you in the next vlog of the house. I think I'm going to. It just makes me feel a bit uncomfortable, you know, putting the whole of the outside of the house on. So I think I will because there's so much I want to do with the house and I wanted to show you all my ideas. But the main thing is we've bought a house in the south of France. It's like a dream paradise that we can't believe. It has this beautiful olive field. It has a beautiful um, swimming pool. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the rest of this video as a vlog of what we've been doing the last few days. And I think in that I tell you like how we're going to block off the pool with a picket fence and lots of flowers. That we've already booked in. We're doing that straight away. The house can wait. It's so dated. So dated like 70s that it looks trendy like the sofa is low i actually bought a sofa i'm not joking so i have a timothy alton sofa that got ruined in a flood so i got it re-upholstered and paris said why are you re-upholstering now we've got nowhere to put it now and i said well i'm gonna have to like but i don't want this sofa to go i adore it i'm gonna have to buy another house to put it in i'll buy a house in Provence." and it was started from that it was such a joke um so i think i'm gonna bring that here still for the guest house but I think I actually love the sofa that they've left. It's like really low. It's like something you'd see on Pinterest at the moment. I'll get it reupholstered so it's like cleaner. Um, but everything's so old that it actually looks cool. There's terracotta floor throughout, which wouldn't be my choice, but it actually looks really nice. So I think I'll make it a bit more like modern French, like quite white and minimal. I'm gonna keep it. I've got so many ideas, but um, that's, the, that's the house. That's the news. It's just an introduction blog vlog video of us saying that we have this house um i don't mind telling you roughly where it is obviously for for safety i can't show you tell you everything but um we it's it's the nearest town is saint tropez but we drove to can and back um two days ago and we also signed for it in can so which was really weird um and i feel like they're both the same distance probably because saint tropez always got traffic but they're both really easy to get to. It's easy to get to Monaco. The location is everything. And I was telling my mum that I should have gone and looked at a house in Provence, like Inland Provence. And I mean, there's so many places like Normandy and stunning chateaus that we've been to that you can get for half the price of this, like a 12 bedroom chateau with acres and acres and acres of land. That I didn't want, although it's so great for content and like the whole wedding thing beautiful for content creation i still want my children to be able to i, I want to do things like i want to go to saint -Tropez. i want to go to monaco i want to go to Cannes. i want to be like let's go to shopping in can today and come back at 4 p.m you know that's the kind of lifestyle i want here we've got horse riding here we've got like lots of lakes around that have sailing there is so much to do around here the location is prime that's why i can't believe that we've got a dream house in a prime location so anyone who buys a house at raw raw it's the most it's the, there's so many flies and wasps here um because the lavender anyone that does that it's a dream come true like it's amazing i would even be tempted to do it myself it's just for us personally we wanted to go out and have location um and I actually knew if I went to go see one in person, I'd fall in love with it and buy it. So I actually never looked at any in person because I knew I'd fall in love. Um, I did find two online and they were beautiful. One was the same price as this and one was considerably lower. It was stunning. It had all panelled walls, marble staircase, acres of land, no swimming pool. But for the price, you could, you could put a swimming pool in. Um, I actually started to say to the agent, I don't want a swimming pool because so many of them are awful. 
like like kidney shaped or just awful like awful position i hate it when they're right outside the house only for safety it worries me because you can't really fence that off i wanted one that was like a way where you could literally see it from the house so it felt apart it wasn't like far far, far away like oh i'm off to the pool now i wanted one where you could see it from the house but it was like cornered off and that's exactly what we got with this and it was a rectangle exactly what i wanted when I'm sitting outside looking in, I can see the pool. When I'm sunbathing, I can see the house. It's just perfect. So, yes, anyone that's looking to buy a house and you buy it rural, I'm not saying that, that that's better or worse. I think it's just as beautiful. It probably would have been better for us in terms of content creation. But I think I would have been a bit scared being rural. They're a fortune to run. And like I said, like with children and family, you wanted to be everywhere. So, yes, I'm literally so tired talking where it's so late and i haven't eaten and i've just been filming uh, but i am so excited to tell you we've literally been here all week and i'm telling you on the last day we're going to pop to can tomorrow and then we'll go home um but yes do subscribe do follow me on claire chanel home because that's where i'm going to be sharing so much more i've already taken so many reels so many pictures so do make sure you're following me there and i'll probably be doing some like different content like more fashion but within the background on Claire Chanel and vice versa um so make sure you're following me I would love it if you, you would subscribe and follow our South of France journey any questions that you have um I'm English and I bought it so anyone asking um like for Brexit issues it was very difficult but it was fine everyone was English speaking um it was a lot better to buy a house in France compared to England let me tell you so I think I've spoken way too much now i'm going to leave you with the vlog of us um like here for the next few days and then i think i'm going to film the house anyway and that might be the, the next vlog i'm not i'm not sure so i'm gonna put my washing in let me show you it's just here these are my linen bed sheets from bedfall so i'm going to they literally dry in an hour here because it's so hot uh, so i'm going to put them away enjoy the rest of the vlog Look at me in my green tea dress doing my laundry. Um, isn't it so beautiful though? I'd pay a lot of money for this dress. Um, it's a high sheet one, so I'll link it below. It's so, so beautiful. So, got my linen washing. It smells so fresh and amazing. I'm going to walk past my long driveway, away from my olive garden, past my pool. Literally, I can't believe I have a pool. And um, in my house, I'm gonna cook dinner. But you know what's been making, I can't stop talking now, but what's making me so happy is, um, like seeing Honoré, like I just want him to have happy memories. I just want him to be happy and grow up with happy memories and you know, be in his 20s and come here with his friends or your girlfriend, whatever. And then he's working or at uni, whatever he just chooses to do. And I want him to be like, oh, I'm gonna go to mum and dad's house and relax. I just really wanted that for him, so. Um, enjoy the rest of the vlog. It's so surreal, I can't believe it. One more thing I wanted to tell you is when we arrived, I didn't know how, we were waiting so long for it to go through. And there's a two week cooling off period, which was like torture, because it was hours that we weren't allowed to go there. And um, I thought I'd like cry with happiness, but I didn't. My first initial feeling was um, Tallulah. That was my first feeling, like how much she would have loved it. And I was quite sad and I had a little cry today. Um, now I didn't expect that, but I just really wanted her to see it once and I, I really do believe it was her that brought us here. We've literally got half an hour of me standing in an olive green field. Um, but yeah, I believe she's with us here. Um, and then the next, I felt, and Paris felt the same, when we drive to from like um, London to South of France, we stop over once and we just find whatever we like. Sometimes they're a five-star luxury hotel, sometimes it's a cute like bed and breakfast it's just whatever we wherever we're tired we stop and it feels like we're we're doing that because they left all their furniture there where they it was just more hassle for them to move it there's a lot of their personal belongings so it really feels like we're in a rented place and i still feel like that i still feel like it's not ours like once i put all my own furniture in there thank you so much for watching and for the 55th time Enjoy the rest of the vlog and yeah, do subscribe so you can follow our journey in the south of France.